In this video I'm going to show you how you can use a slider in Articulate Storyline 2 to create an interactive learning activity like this one. Alright, now before we even get into Storyline, I just want to show you I've got uh, two sets of four images each uh, set up. And all these are going to do is uh, show how as you open the aperture of your camera shutter, your picture is going to get um, more or less light. This isn't going to be a scientifically accurate tutorial, but just something kind of fun to show you uh, a way that you can use a slider in, in Storyline that's not completely arbitrary. Um, so what we want to do is I've got a blank uh, Storyline file started here. I'm just going to drag in uh, each of these images. So I'm going to start with the photo, and we'll start with the brightest one or the aperture all the way open. So what we're going to do with this image is create uh, four states of it. So let's say photo at 75 or almost all the way open. We're going to say photo 50 or partially closed. And let's make one at photo 25, which is almost all the way closed. Let's change each of these pictures to be the appropriate one, so the darkest one, and then a little bit brighter, and almost all the way bright. This one. So we're done with these. And now let's take our aperture settings. And let's just bump this over into the corner. I'm going to do the same thing. Add four states. So this one will be aperture 75, let's say. And aperture 50. Aperture 25. And do the same thing while well, we're Swap in the various states accurately. Oops, that's the wrong one. This one. And we want this one. Oh, actually, uh, I had it right the first time, didn't I? So let's put that back. the way it was. Okay, so now as we step through each of the states, go from open to close, and let's resize this. We don't need it that big to be a little smaller. Okay, so we got two images here that um, both have four states each, and now we are ready for our slider. Actually, almost ready. Let's name these pictures so they're easier to identify when we create our triggers later. Okay, so we got those named, and so let's pull in a slider. I'll choose a square one. And I'll stick it down here at the bottom. I'll stick it on top of the image only because uh, I don't have, I didn't make quite enough room for what I want to do, which is to add some, I guess I could put it there, um, add some labels to the slider so um, the various positions mean something. So we can put this first one at like f of, let's just say f of 1, which is, I know this aren't numbers that actually probably make a whole lot of sense, but again, we're just, I'm just showing you what you could do with the slider. Let's make a couple more labels here, so let's make one over here, and one over here. This one will just say, uh, I don't know, 2.5. Again, I don't know if that makes sense or not. And this one will just say 4.1. And let's align these just so 
They don't look too far out of whack. All right, so now what we want is as we drag along this slider, so we show how the different aperture settings affect the aperture, and then subsequently the amount of light that's going to get to this picture. So what we need to do for that is two things. One is we need to set up this slider. And you can see when I have it selected, we have slider tools up here. And we want to go to the design tab. We have this slider is called uh, slider one. And update when the slider is dragged. You can have it be when it's dragged or when the learner releases. So we want it to be dragged. And let's set this up from zero to a hundred. And uh, we start at zero and we increment by, I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's, let's leave the increment at that for now. And then uh, let's add some triggers. So let's just add one for now. So what we're going to do to start out is change the state of the photo to uh, a little bit darker photo when the slider moves. Um, actually, just let's leave it at that. When the slider moves, we're going to make it darker. So we see that it's working. But now what we want to do is we only want it to show that slightly darker picture when it's in within the range of this first uh, quarter of the slider. Actually, I guess the second quarter because the first one's going to be the this brightest one. So we need to add some conditions. The condition is when the slider is let's say um, greater than or equal to 25. We need another one and the slider is less than 50. Okay, so we're only going to change to that darker image when we're within that range of the slider. Let's duplicate this trigger and let's put it back to normal and let's change the conditions if slider is less than 25. You can get rid of the second one. So if it's less than 25, it'll stay at the brightest one. If it's between 25 and 50, it'll go to the slightly darker one. And let's just keep those two conditions for now and test to make sure that they're working. So we're here within the first range and then as soon as we get within the um, next range here, it darkens. And I it don't have my numbers properly aligned, so it's not completely lining up there, but you get the idea. All right, so now what we need is triggers for the rest of the photos. So we can do is duplicate this. Let's do two more. Uh, let's see where are we at here. So we want this one to be to go to the darker image when we're greater than or equal to now 50, but less than 75. All right, and then we got one more. Where'd it go? I um, want this one to be the darkest image when the slider moves and we actually only need one this time. When it's greater than or equal to 75. So that should take care of adjusting all of the photos.
but you can see up here this this guy is still staying the same. So um, this one's going to be easy because the conditions are going to be the same. The trigger is basically going to be the same, but we just need to swap it out um, to change the state of the aperture to each of those various states. So we can copy each one of these. We don't have to redo the whole. Get that out of the way. Uh, the whole set of conditions again. Uh, let's see what I got here. 75, 50, and we need the 25. So let's start with normal. Change the aperture this time to normal. And then let me make sure I'm changing the right thing here. Change the state of the aperture to 75, and then change the state of aperture to 50, and then the last one, change the state of the aperture uh, to this smallest one. Okay, so now we can see. Open up the aperture, a lot of light. Close as we close it, less light. So what would improve this learning activity is to have more states than what I have. Only having four is kind of not making as much sense. But um, you could add that and then you just need to add more triggers. So that can kind of, and you can, you know, narrate the slide if you wanted to, to talk through what we're actually showing here or have some text on the screen to explain that. And um, what you can do too is then uh, duplicate this, get rid of the images, and then obviously all these triggers are irrelevant. Oh, I can only select one at a time. Um, and then just ask a question that says something like uh, set the slider or set the aperture to allow the most light or set the aperture to allow the least amount of light or something like that so that the user doesn't have to, uh, have the pictures and the visuals to rely on and has to understand how aperture works in order to get the question right but it's a way to um, another way to use a slider in kind of a, a multiple choice kind of a question you could always do a multiple choice question too but this way you keep the slider metaphor in place so with the picture and then knowledge check without and that's uh, one way that you can use the slider bar. And if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email at dean at littleguylearning.com.